Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to part four of our Philippine Eagle. Um, last week we did his feet and today we're going to do his beak. Um, we won't do his eye today. We'll just do his beak. Um, so today, today's video is actually going to be a little bit short. So, um, you know, it'll be a quick one. Uh, I might even post this one after the feet. So if I post it after the feet, then this will be part 3.2. But most likely I'll just post it next week. Um, it's probably just me re pre recording and still haven't quite figured it out when I'm going to post it. So, um, his beak is quite an interesting beak from what I've seen from Google. So we got some blues and some darker blues and some lighter blues going on. So uh, that's what we're rolling with today. So for colors, let me, let me see what we got here for colors. We have, we have a sky blue. Come on camera. All right, we have sky blue. So for our Prismacolor users, that would probably be, let me just check it out here. Um, you can use blue slate or powder blue. Our next color is light ultramarine. And for you Prismacolor users, that would be Caribbean Sea or Caribbean Sea, however you guys pronounce it and wherever you're from. The next color is going to be Cobalt Blue. And you can use True Blue or you can use maybe Light Cerulean Blue. Just kind of play around and see which one looks better for you. And then our next color is going to be dark indigo. And for Prismacolor, you can use indigo blue. So the beak is pretty straightforward. Um, let me zoom you guys in here and get you all situated. Let's see. I'm going to do this here so you guys can still see. Give me a minute. Hang on, hang on. Okay, that looks about... That looks good. Okay. So, the beak is interesting. But it's straightforward and it's not hard. Um, I know some of the parts of the, this page is probably looks intimidating, but... We break it down together here and we figure it out. So we got this, you guys. So the way I'm going to do it is um, I'm going to start with our lightest color. And our lightest color here is going to be our sky blue. Sorry, adjusting. Okay, sky blue. So now in the reference photo which I'm bringing over here. It's just, you know, that part under his eye and right under his mouth and the tips are dark. So you can layer the whole thing in this light blue, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can just do the parts that has that area. So that would be this. I'm going to do it with you here because I'm going to end up doing the whole thing in this light blue anyway. So just the parts, if you want to do it that way, it'll be just the parts that has the light blue. So you want to get this piece here, this part of his mouth. It's basically where Kirby has all of these, um, these light lines. So you want to do it like that. And so 
you can do it that way and then now you have your light layer you can do it that way but if you aren't sure of what the heck is going on and you know you want it to feel even you can just do the whole thing in the light layer because it's going to be covered anyway in the dark so I'm just going to cover all of this in this this sky blue just give it a nice light layer even the even this area here where it's black where he has it shaded under around his eye all of that in the sky blue that's how I'm doing it right so now this is where it gets seemingly tricky but it's not as tricky as you think so we're gonna come in with the light ultramarine and how we're gonna do it is we're gonna just where the black is ending and going into the white we're just gonna flick this up we're just gonna flick it up not all the way up just about halfway we're gonna flick it up because that's where you know it's transitioning into that sky blue so we're gonna flick 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 and we're gonna do it also here underneath this one and look look how quickly already it's coming together just from us just from that you know and then so according to the photo here this is dark but this is going to be like our next color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of bring it out from here I'm gonna bring it out just a little and then I'm gonna bring it out from this direction just a little and then let me just cover that just a little bit just a little because we're gonna come in with that other, the next color, and go on over on top of this because there's a part of his beak that's a darker blue, that's a different blue from this. So we're gonna, you know, just bring this up, just flick it up, and then we'll we'll come in and we'll reblend that sky blue. But for now, we're just gonna do that, and then the sides. Look at that, you guys. We coming already together. I told you, we're going to do this together. This one's going to be pretty quick. We seven minutes in, and we already got most of the foundation. Okay. So, cobalt blue. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So, right around in here, right around in here, there's a dark blue and it, it's gonna come off right here and and I stress this in all of my videos your picture doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to look like someone took a 4k image and put it in your book it does not have to look like you know someone paid you a million dollars to do it correctly or they were gonna kidnap you it can look however you want it to look if it looks good to you it looks good to me so for me, I'm trying to do realistic, but I know it's not gonna turn out looking like a 4K image. But if it if it looks good to you, it looks good to me. And if you're proud of it and you're happy the way it turned out, then I'm proud of it and I'm happy for you. Just FYI. So I don't wanna hear nobody talking about, oh, my picture doesn't look as good as yours, or I can't color good, or I don't have the same pencils as you, so it's not gonna turn out pretty or all of that other nonsense. I love coloring. I love to see everybody's pages, how everybody's pages turn out. There is no ugly page to me. There is no person who can't color. If you sat down and you took the time to put pencil to paper, that's an accomplishment. If you like the way it looks, that's an even bigger accomplishment. And there is no put downs on my channel. I don't want nobody putting nobody down. There's no put downs in my group. You color at your own pace, your own speed, whatever materials you want to use. I don't want to hear no nonsense, okay? I have a no-nonsense channel. If I see it, you out. If I hear it, you out. I haven't seen it or heard it so far. Everybody's been nice so far in the group. Everyone's nice. 
I don't play that. Just FYI. Um, no nonsense over here. None at all. So, I have to say that because I hear a lot of people say, oh, you know, I wish I can color as good as you. Oh, no, baby doll. Sit down, put pencil to paper. You know, and I'm I'm an extremely slow. Like, I, you see how long this is taking me, okay? I color extremely slow. So, you know, if, if you... Now, it's different if you say, oh, can you teach me how to color like you, which is what I'm doing now. You guys are coloring along with me. I'm showing you how I color. If you want to practice that and try to do it yourself and it still doesn't come out looking like mine, chances are, you guys, honestly, it's never going to. It's going to come out looking like yours because it is yours. It's not going to come out exactly looking like mine. It's going to come out like yours. It may be similar you may decide to be like, you know what? I'm going to do my 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 leaves more yellow. They're going to be more yellow than brown. Or they're going to be more brown than yellow. You might add more shadows, less shadows. But you're using me as a guide and you're practicing. And you're sitting down and you're taking the time. That right there is amazing. So I don't want to hear nothing about how you can't color. Because you can. If you can pick up your pencil and put it to the paper, you can color now moving on so i'm gonna it's it's crazy how the reference picture is but i'm gonna make this also the darker blue because it's quite a bit of it on his beak at the top part of his beak so i'm gonna i'm gonna take the bottom and i'm gonna make dark blue and just a little bit up here as well and the rest of that will be the next blue. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit here. Boom. Now, there is, from what I'm looking at, there's not any dark blue in this part of his beak, but I'm gonna add a couple lines. Just, just a couple, I mean a couple. <laughs> That's it, that's all I'm adding. Okay, so I also see a little bit of this blue over here kind of like going around his mouth. So now I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna bring, before I bring in my dark, I'm gonna bring back this light ultramarine and I'm gonna kind of buff this here part out. And I'm gonna buff it out, kind of make it blend. Well, not blend, you know, layer, I guess is the word. It's still, you know, the color is still mixed together when you layer them. So, and then I'm going to also add just a little bit because this part of his mouth is actually light. So I'm just adding a little bit and then boom. And then I'm, I'm flicking this up a little bit more, just a little bit, a little higher and a little bit down here. And then I'm coming back with my sky blue. And very lightly going over this one more time just very very lightly just just to mix it all together going over the whole thing once more now I'm thinking what I want to do before I add this this dark indigo because it's pretty dark so I'm thinking I want to pull out one more darker blue. It's not completely dark, but it's quite dark. Um, just before I do that, let me just grab it here. Right here. This um, Endantherin blue. This one here. This Endantherin blue. And for Prismacolor, it's the exact same color as the endanthrin blue in that one. And I'm going to put it here in between, right at this transition. And I'm just going to flick it right before it goes off into that indigo, that dark indigo. And I'm going to put a little here, just a little. Because right here, I don't want to put the, uh, the dark indigo. So I'm going to use this endanthrin blue just to kind of highlight some of his darker parts. Just a little. 
and you don't have to, to add this color in if you don't want to this is just to help transition from this uh into this dark indigo because this dark indigo is going to be pretty dark it's going to be just like his feet so you see how dark his feet are you know they're they're pretty dark so this this will help with the transition hopefully um and then i'm gonna put some a little bit like around his eyes just just so it can help and it doesn't just go into like straight dark darkness you know i'm gonna put a little bit there just just a little and then like out here right so now i'm gonna come in with this dark um indigo this is our dark indigo and i'm going to go ahead and go over can you guys see okay i'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna go over this dark part that kirby has added the shadows for I'm just gonna go over that and this is dark too so I'm not sure why and then okay so going over that and I'm gonna flick some out too just so it can look more transition and I want to just I might even come in with some black we'll see but I won't put any there and then so this part here is also um you know this dark so I'm gonna color this in I'm gonna do a light layer first to see if I want to add more of that dark indigo underneath it because all of this is supposed to be this I mean not the dark indigo the endanthrin blue so all of this is supposed to be the dark indigo and then it transitions into this very hard light blue so I'm trying to give it an easy transition and not just have it like harshly change into you know so like this all of this here is this dark indigo so i might i mean it looks like it's transitioning pretty well actually so i might not need um that dark indigo to come in but all of this here is also black this is or not black but you know that dark this is all dark so i might come in with just a tad bit of the endanthrin blue but you don't need it so if you don't want to add it you see here you don't need it um so i might come in with just a tad bit of it though just to give it that more of that blue and i might just kind of just a little just to kind of you so you can see that it's not quite black that it actually is a a pretty dark blue from what I'm seeing and I'm just gonna go over it and then I'll go over it again until because they the way they have it it's it's pretty dark um but if I you know, if I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I like the way it looks. I don't want to add any more than I'm not going to because I have a habit of trying to perfect something or change something and it turns out worse than what I wanted it to be. So I'm going to flick out some more of this just so I can have that. And I need to get some fine liners because you can do this with fine liners too, like flick it out a little bit better. Um, just make sure your pencils are sharp when you're doing that because if it's not, it's just going to look like, um, you know, like a not so sharp line, if that makes any sense. So you want it to look like, you know, the sharpness that you're going for and not just dull and fuzzy. So, okay. So now I'm going to come back with, um that that different blue as i like to call it the one i said where it just kind of in the middle of his beak and i'm gonna 
bring that out just a bit just to just to help it blend and it's like only in certain parts it's like in the middle and like right here and then that's it but to make it like even or to balance it out a little more I just put a couple flecks in there and then I'm gonna come in with my my lightest color which is the sky blue and I'm going to go over everything again just have that nice layer and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take a look at it and see if it's where I want it to be now for you if it's not quite where you want it to be keep playing with it until you like it and that's why we use light layers because we can kind of keep playing with it or if you decide you don't want something in that spot if the layers light you can just erase it most of the time um, if you're using pencil of course but you know we use light layers our pencil people so we don't do that now if you heavy handed you might have a little bit more of a problem but okay so that's pretty much it and we might we're only 20 minutes so let's go ahead and do this eye why not so the eye here is very cool it has some greenish blue in it so let's firstly let's compare what we have here this is what we have and this is the beak his beak so i think let me zoom out i think we got pretty close i'm trying to see how can i get this in this in this here maybe if i just put it on this side i think we got pretty close um but you see this is that dark blue i was speaking of so it's like in little parts just little parts but i think we got pretty close i might actually add a little bit more of the um the light ultramarine coming up off his beak but other than that we got pretty close um let me add just let me zoom you guys back in let me zoom you in don't want to lose you okay i might add just a little bit just a bit just to make it just a bit darker that's all okay i forgot this part okay so his eye like i was saying has like a bluish green it's not it's not the same blues as these so uh oh where's my color sheet oh here we go all right so let's zoom out for a minute so i'm thinking it has kind of some of this um i see some i'm thinking prussian blue Helio turquoise and it looks like it kind of comes out into cobalt green followed by some light cobalt turquoise so let me let me grab those colors so well, firstly let's put these back because I also have a habit of having my colors kind of um all over the place and then what happens is I kind of have to go back back through my um my color chart and kind of put them where they're supposed to be and sometimes they're not where they're supposed to be and then i have to go looking so let me already because we're doing great on time we're only at 23 minutes so let me grab the i said the bluish turquoise And that's going to be our darkest color. If I can find it, this is what I mean. Okay, here we go. Blue is turquoise. And we said we were going to have some light cobalt turquoise. I need that. There was like some greenish too. Um, maybe I'll add some dark phthalo green. Because there was like a slight hint of green as well let me take one more look actually no it wasn't not really um okay so blue is turquoise oh the helio turquoise and the cobalt green is what i'm supposed to be adding right we'll figure it out and hey, he's got some nice he's got an interesting little eye here okay so now that we have our our polychromos colors let's see what those colors would be so 
So we have our cobalt turquoise. Let me straighten you guys out. Okay. We have our cobalt turquoise. So in Prismacolor, that's going to be... Let's see if I can match it here. Oh, I'm sorry. Light cobalt turquoise. That's probably going to be... The closest that I can probably get you guys to that would be the sky blue light. But you might need to mix it with a little bit of something else. Or you can use your electric blue. But that's more bluish. So that's the closest I think I can get you guys. Unless you use your... No, non-photo blue would be a little bit too dark. So yeah, I would go with sky blue light. It's the closest you, you're going to get. Or your electric blue. Um, that color, I guess, is just too different. Um, then you have your cobalt green. Which would, in Prisma color, be your light aqua. And then we have our... Helio Turquoise, which is an interesting color. I like that one. Um, for Prismacolor users, you can use your Aquamarine for that one. And then we have our Bluish Turquoise, which you can use your... Hmm, there's lots of different things you can probably use. You can use maybe your True Blue or your Peacock Blue is probably going to be a little dark. So maybe your true blue or yeah, that's probably close as you can get because your cerulean is too blue. So probably your true blue or your peacock blue. Okay, let's do this, you guys. Right, so, so that's as close as I can get, you guys. So hopefully we can do this. So we are going to start with our, um, what, what are we starting with here? Where's it at? Oh, here it is. Light cobalt turquoise. And we're just going to go over the whole eye very lightly. Just enough for you to see the color. Right. So once you have enough where you can see the color, then you want to come in with your cobalt green and i'm just gonna take it from up here and come down just a bit with it and then you you can actually alternate these colors for his eye any way you want i'm gonna put some on this side too Yep, you can do it any way you want because it depends on the light. It depends on, you know, the reflections and all that good stuff. So, next we have our Helio Turquoise. And I'm going to put just a tad bit of that. I'm going to be kind of medium pressure because I kind of want this one to stand out the most. Because that's the part that popped out the most to me in the reference picture. Um, the reference picture has part of his eye like cut off, so it's going from dark to light. So here it's not, so I'm just kind of playing around with the colors and putting them in random kind of spots. So you don't have to actually follow, you know, where I put them. Just make sure that you have some highlight and, you know, you have some of this cobalt turquoise showing in the highlight and that your dark is dark which is your bluest turquoise you want to make sure that you have some of that showing in the other colors you can just kind of play around with and he'll have like that greenish it's not it's like a greenish blue it's still blue but it's more on the greenish blue side so you kind of want to make sure that you have you know 
you have that mix going because the eyes, are, you know, it's covered in the reference picture, but for us it's not. Okay, so, and then I'm going to add some more of that light. So, boom, so his eye is done. Now, in the reference picture, because I don't want to mess, I don't want to do any more, but the reference picture has a white, a thin white um, kind of line like underneath I'll show you guys here in a second. You see it has that 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 white and it has it under this one too, but I probably won't cuz that's really tiny, so I probably won't put it under that one. But I'm going to come in and and pray tell that this works. And I'm going to put it and it looks like it's right in that dark area. So I don't want to maybe I should without a colored pencil and do it with that but i feel like it's more richer with the gel pen so that's what we that's what we using guys we're going for it so hopefully y'all don't see my big head in the way can y'all see okay so i'm just gonna go in and put it under that wasn't so bad but i'm gonna because they have it kind of going halfway up and then halfway going the other way too. So I'm going to... Yeah. So because it's so thick, I won't put it under the other one. I think I'll grab... Um, once that dries, I think I'll grab like a... Maybe a color pencil. Because I don't have a thinner gel pen, so I don't want to... Um, you know, try and go in with this because this uni ball I have is the broad, so I don't want to try to go in with that other part of his eye because it's so it's so broad that you know it's gonna cover it or it's gonna go into it and mess it up, and I know it is. So I'm gonna bring out one of my newfound hates, which is the Prisma color. I'm gonna sharpen it really sharp, and I'm gonna go in with that, and I'm gonna put just a little bit underneath it no that didn't work out so well but that's okay it didn't work out so well it didn't go where I wanted it to but it's okay because it kind of like I said you can either erase it this is a perfect example of a mistake you can either erase it as one way to fix it right or if you want to get it back black, you can take a black pen and go right over it. And it's boom, it's back to black. So we just went with the the one underneath. And just like that. So that is what we have, guys. So um here we are. We are we're making really good progress. We've done the beat, we've done the feet. We've done the leaves, we've done the trees. We're getting there. We just have the feathers, this tree branch, the mountains, the clouds. And the background, like I said, will be a bonus video. So we're getting there a couple more weeks and we'll be done. So probably I say somewhere in the middle of March, we'll be done. Very slow color along as it's, you know, you guys ask for it to be slow and you know, I'm going to try to do, I do it every Sunday, but if it's moving too slow, I can try to get, you know, another video somewhere in, in the week. If that's what you guys want, just let me know and I'll try to squeeze one in there every now and then. Um, if you like this pace, let me know. Uh, it's up to you guys, really. Um, Sundays for sure, I am I have time, but um I can make time somewhere during the week. If you guys want more than one video a week, let me know. I'll see what I can do. So this is what we had. This video was only like 30 minutes because we just had the beak. So we're good on that. And let me know what you guys think so far. You know, as far as our progress, how we're moving, how far you've gotten. Let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys next week for part five.